This weekend's storm will likely affect your holiday travel and shopping plans. NBC 15's Madeline Anderson talked to folks who were out and about today to find out how they plan to avoid the bad weather. Madeline? Well, nothing like 10 inches of snow to give those last-minute shoppers some motivation. As of a week and a half ago, 32 million Americans hadn't even started their shopping. Today, many of them were determined to buy everything on their list. Twas the weekend before Christmas and all through the mall. Not a parking lot was empty, not even one stall. This is the last of my Christmas shopping. Noreen Pinkston was up bright and early looking for presents for her great nieces in hopes of beating the snow flurries this evening. I didn't go to work yesterday because of the ice, so I, I didn't want to be out tomorrow at all. This couple from Lake Tomahawk had a similar plan. They have five children to shop for and more than 200 miles before their home once again. We're trying to get out of here before the storm comes. Brand Branches covered in ice, sales looking quite nice. Jody Bubenzer does not want to do this twice. No, I really don't like to shop at all, actually. So the, the less shopping I can do, the better. People bundled up in their coats, mittens, and hats, stuffing trunks full of toys, food, and crafts. Merry Christmas. Is the 25th really just four days away? A white Christmas it will be with flakes through Sunday. And on a serious note, nearly 2 million people are expected to travel this weekend. The snow will certainly impact the roads around here and throughout part of the Midwest. So as always, take it slow and plan ahead for any car problems as well as flight delays or other travel.